J. Lee from your back rocking with the culture cure. I appreciate you tuning in. I got my favorite people in the world with me. Ladies, how y'all doing? I'm good. Life's good. good. I think I'm actually very happy to not be going out of town this weekend. I'm exhausted. Just because you probably are. <laughs> so I'm feeling good about that. For just, sure. Just, Those are first world problems. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting tired of getting one. I like, am. I'm what? exhausted. I'm tired of getting money. 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 That's incorrect. But, what? What's happening? Oh. <laughs> but yeah, so. That's what's up with me. Tiffany, how are you today? I'm good. I am great. I'm drinking my coffee. Uh, coffee? Yeah, it's just regular coffee. Right Tiffany mm-hmm. tells us this is her first experience with coffee. This what? type of coffee. Yes. Not today, but... Well, so I've never had coffee prior to last week. <laughs> In your life? It, yes. Like, Until you met your king? Could be. I did meet my king. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> let's not. Let's not. We, we, we've talked about that. Whatever. That's why your eyes like kind of sunk in your head. Oh, you know, <laughs> your king. Oh, Love. He cool. No. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so I uh, had an experience with Turkish coffee, and now I'm hooked. Being out. you never had, like. I've never had regular coffee, regular. Mm-hmm. And iced coffee, nothing? No. How do you survive that? I drink water. I do too, but I don't drink pop, I don't drink juice. You don't, are you? Are you on drugs? Like, how do you survive that? You're not exhausted in the morning, you don't need like a boost. I'm exhausted all the time. So. I take naps. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) I know that's three o'clock. You are. (laughs) It's tight over here. (laughs) Didn't nobody see Joe. But I'm sure they heard (laughs) him. It's tight over here. Aaron, how are you? Uh, good. Good, good, good. Mm -hmm. Sure? Yeah. Why do they keep locking you out outside? the man was cool. He wasn't uh, lollygagging like a woman. I mean, he was cool when I saw him, like, <laughs> minutes later after I'm standing outside banging on the door. Anyway, yeah, I'm ready for the weekend, you know. The week good. went by pretty fast. That's your homecoming weekend. It huh? is. I think I'm going to go. I just can't. If I'm going to be here in town, like, why not? How many so. years out? You tried. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. We're the same age. That wasn't We are. Life. That's why I, actually, all of us <laughs> oh, are. So why, I don't know why y'all sorry. took it that way. Because they were all like, ooh. I'm like, really younger than <laughs> Are you for real? Yeah, are you? A, she's a, she's what, when you're barely? No, she's a, no, she's a complete. She's like a full, 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 full toy. Came out full. What year were you born? 86. Same. Came out. <laughs> so if, if you know they send out polls and things like that, like you know how they have the age brackets, like eighteen to twenty four. I mean, we're still in the same bracket. We're still in the yeah. Sure. So right. y'all all babies. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> right. uh, before we dive into this, also this might be a good time to. Anybody <laughs> going to church tomorrow? No? Um. Well, I, I am more than willing to take off of work and go, but I got the wrong ticket. So I know just what you Tell, bought. Tell people what you're talking about. So Kanye's uh, nice Sunday service is coming tomorrow, and I know a lot of people were working on getting tickets today that I didn't even know were on sale per se. Because um, I got a ticket two, three days ago, something like that, to be in the choir. That's why you trusted him and his girl. Let me let me tell you something. I can't sing. <laughs> he would escort me out personally. Nice, you could blend in. Just move. Just well, we'll see. You know, I don't even know. Does anybody know what time it starts? Twelve. I knew nothing of this. Yeah. <laughs> what, what were y'all looking at? Shame her. Uh, I thought Aretha. No, oh, I'm sorry. I, yeah. At yeah. Aretha. <laughs> we'll see if I can get on down there during lunch. Yeah, she does. <laughs> you should take a nice long lunch. Hey y'all. That, you're the thing. You'll send me away some You do a lot on your lunch break. I do. I text her one day. She's like, yeah, I'm at Popeye's eating one of these shit sandwiches. You want me to scoop you one? <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> How you get all the way downtown is my question. Don't you work? Like, yeah, I work a minute. Uh, <laughs> Alright. Anyway. Yeah, you just gotta drive. <laughs> Quick. You can get anywhere in the city at that 15 minutes. Do you not agree? How long is your lunch hour? Is it an actual hour? That's still not Not legally. Make it to one. Not legally. Not anywhere in the Well, you just got to bob and weave through the show. (laughs) You'll get there. So run people over to get to Kanye's Sunday service so you can be in the choir. What's the problem? Uh Oh, somebody's phone is on. What's the issue? (laughs) You can put it on. All right, well, you should go. Do you think I'm uh, not going to try it? <laughs> it's an experience. Right. Yes. 
The videos that they put up are amazing. Yeah. They are. Like, come on. It is amazing. Why it's not? Weird. <laughs> So Serena's issue is so anxious. I um, I get uncomfortable so. with this melody of a sexual song because when I hear the melody, and this is just me, I associate it with that song. With having sex. So now you're bringing different lyrics in it and it just makes me uncomfortable. I don't like it. But say, <laughs> Grandma, who's 92, has never heard so anxious. So it, to her, it, it's it might too. move her. It might move her. For me, this is, is awkward. Grandma, who's 92, listening to Kanye's no. she Sunday might be. service? <laughs> she might be. Anything is possible. Okay. <laughs> well, you enjoy yourself. Oh, well, tell I, me I all about it. I'm going to call this from Reaching Thursday. <laughs> clearly, that's what y'all doing. Whatever. All right. Here we well, go. All right. Well, <laughs> let's get to it. We have some very special guests in the building yes. this evening. We have the ladies of the Cochrane House. It is uh, the new found bed and breakfast, black owned. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, ladies, um, let's dive right into it. Uh, let's introduce yourselves and say who's who. Who's who? Okay, uh, mm. I'll start. My name is Rodrika James, and I'm one of my name is Rodrika James, and I'm one of the co-owners of the Cochrane House. Mm -hmm. Uh, we call ourselves hospitality specialists. Okay. Mm -hmm. Excuse like me. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm co-owner co number two, <laughs> Francina James, and we're both sisters. Yes. Yes. The same oh, last name. Yeah, so. 13 months apart. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Yes. Wow. yes. <laughs> Went to school so together. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, she got me. Uh, <laughs> So you all went to school together, did did everything together? Mostly, like, we went to King together. Yeah, uh, we from King yeah together. she went to Michigan, I went to Eastern, so we had an apartment together at one point. Oh, wow. Yeah, oh. It, was, it was crazy. So, yeah, we went. Y'all had a good old time, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. You met people from Eastern. You know? <laughs> right. Exactly. That's it. Exactly. Best exactly. of both worlds. Yeah. Wow, that's cool. All right, mm -hmm. so um, let's get the, the background. Like, what, you know, what do you all, what have you been doing? Um, just tell about yourself. Like you, you're from Detroit. Yeah. Just give us a, a little bit. You know, you just said that you you graduated from. Kenya. Born and raised in Detroit. We grew up on the west side, seven miles. Whoop, whoop. Well, no, seven miles. So. <laughs> 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 seven miles of Myers area. Uh -huh. You know, so uh, yeah, uh, Detroit. Uh, uh, high school, um, middle school, elementary school, high school, everything, everything, DPS, I am DPS. Okay. <laughs> um, I was going to say, nice. so, uh, other than that, I uh, went to college, um, King, you went to Eastern. I went to Eastern, yeah, I uh, had, uh, used to do nails okay. Okay. at one point in my life, that's how I was hustling in school. Uh, okay. um, you have a passion for a lot of things, mm -hmm. don't you? Very so creative. I like quick rundown. I was gonna say I've, I've had okay, so nails. Uh, I have uh, designed clothes before, so I've had, oh, I had clothes and like a little boutique in Oak Park. It was only one. It was oh nice. I mean, still right, but yeah. Um, you know, uh, design, interior design. Mm -hmm. Love that. <laughs> uh, do it for friends and family all the time. Um, so just anything that um, allows me to get into like creative things. Never was a painter or anything. Never could draw. Mm -hmm. Nothing like that, but yeah, things like interior design, fashion. I was always into. Mm -hmm. um, didn't major in it because I didn't want to leave uh, home. You know, my mom tried to get me to go to New York. I didn't. I went to Eastern, obviously. Mm -hmm. Your mother tried to get you. To leave. She did. It's and typically I did. the other way around. Yes, right. yeah, she did. Why? And, um, well, partly. Well, my sister was always a year older than me, and so I kind of wanted to stay here and. I was a little scared at the time, you know, mm -hmm. to just be so far away. Mm -hmm. um, ended up going to Eastern, um, and my major was African American history. Okay. Nice. Yeah, yeah. It's so, a good major. Man. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was it was uh, an excellent major to have, especially now. Mm -hmm. I was say that, yeah. <laughs> especially now, yeah. but yeah. So um, from there, um, we uh, we uh, I was an educator, so I taught first grade, I taught fifth grade. Um, and then um, I helped run an educational tutoring company. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, for twelve years. Wow. And then um, after that, uh, the Cochran House was born. So we incorporated in two thousand twelve. Um, we incorporated the business in two thousand twelve. Uh -huh. uh, construction took five years, and we've been open year and a half. How did I, I, have, I have like a bunch? Of them. <laughs> so where the where the name come from? Well, you want. 
Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, we were. Um, we named the Cochran House after Lyman Cochran, who was a senator and he was also a Superior Court judge. Mm-hmm. Um, and so he actually he purchased the house. I want to say what, what year was 1871. that? 1871. Yeah, 1871. Yeah, that was 50 years old. And so it's a, a historic, a historically designated house. Mm-hmm. And so that's why we named it after him. Nice. Yeah. 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 So we just chose the name. Um, partly because it was already a designated name. Mm-hmm. So we're like, okay, so if anybody's searching to see a house, mm-hmm. then uh, it would be easy to find. <laughs> right, you yeah. know, and so we just connected the bed and breakfast to the name of the house and so merged it because we're like, okay, so what's another good way of getting the name out there like mm-hmm. that? So, yeah, How that's why we chose it. You guys come up with to own a bed and breakfast? Like, where that, well, how that idea is? Initially, we were doing education. Mm-hmm. Um, so when when we purchased the house in 2010, um, we thought that it was going to be something to have to do education. But once we started checking like the zoning and stuff, you know, mm-hmm. you check the zoning in the area, yeah. it didn't allow for it. Partly because it's on a residential street, right? mm-hmm. you know, it's not a, a commercial thoroughfare. Mm-hmm. So um, bed and breakfast was, you know, fit that category, and um, that's why we chose it. And plus, I like design, I like those things, mm-hmm. and I wanted to you know, make it a different type of bed and breakfast. So I didn't want it to be like the same type of bed and breakfast that you may see from state to state. And, and that's at the time, Rick, really, yeah. it wasn't a lot of lodging opportunities. It wasn't. I mean, like a lot of lodging it wasn't. places in Detroit mm-hmm. when we first opened up. Exactly. Yeah. And, and and when we, um, but we were also located across from Cognac Park. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So um, at the time, there wasn't like Little Caesars Arena. There wasn't like all of these hotels going up in the city. Mm-hmm. There were other, there were, I think, like, three other band breakfasts and there were a few mm-hmm. hotels. And so we were like, okay, so this is a good opportunity to fit into a category that's really not thought about mm-hmm. yeah. and we can welcome visitors to the city and and we'll, you know, you know, be able to be pretty successful in doing that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So um that was the thought mm-hmm. when we started. So to us it was a good opportunity, um, a good business opportunity. Mm-hmm. So I know you were saying it's like basically not it wasn't a lot of competition back then, but now, mm-hmm. like, for, with Airbnb and downtown mm-hmm. being, like, a big deal, yeah. has that changed, is, is, has that been kind of good it's for your business? It's been excellent. Oh, good. Um, it's been excellent. The, the foresight, <coughs> we could have never imagined um, mm-hmm. of, of knowing that it, the city of Detroit, because we were born and raised here. Mm-hmm. So when you're born and raised here, you know that that was Cass Quarter. Mm-hmm. You know mm-hmm. that, you know, Campus Marshes was where the bus depot was at. Mm-hmm. You understand what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So you could have never known that, you know, that Detroit would be what Detroit is today. Yeah. You know, but you have, um, the landscape has changed <coughs> greatly. And we get a lot of visitors coming in. It's so funny because people will call and they'll say, um, well, can I walk? You know, around the house, and I'm like, yeah, this, this is probably it's one cool of the safest, cool. <laughs> safest <laughs> places in the city. Who you, asking that? Yeah. <laughs> you talk about, um, you know, your guests. What is the most common demographic of your guests? You know what? When we first opened, um, we didn't get many African American people, that's and right. that's but that's because no one knew we were African American. Uh, we we didn't have any press. Mm-hmm. Once we once people start recognizing, you know, this was an African American owned business, we started getting more African Americans. A we lot. Got so much love. So much uh-huh. love. It's, I mean, it's, yeah. but it's ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Like it's ridiculous. <laughs> Um, so it's the demographic at first yeah. was just white men because of the, the baseball the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The game. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. yeah, I can believe it. Oh, yeah. God. oh, oh no, they, they come it. from other <laughs> states. I mean, just to go to the game. Yeah, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. I knew the game, but I would think that they would like say like a bed and breakfast, like uh, yeah, but it's across the street. Right. Exactly. So, they so and I think that's <clears throat> probably a, I would say eighty five percent of the reason why we successful is because of our location. Oh, I believe yeah. 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 You understand what I'm saying? So that location was, is absolutely amazing. Right, right. So I couldn't I couldn't necessarily say that we would have the same success if we were if we were located, you know, somewhere. And you said so Comerica sorry. Park was the only major place that was there. Comerica when, Park and Fort Field. Okay, when they purchased. Mm-hmm. Right. Those two were there. But look L C A wasn't even mm-hmm. thought about mentioning anything. Right. Yeah. So, and then Dan Gilbert hadn't started coming, you right, know, right, and right. developing. So it was just all timely. It was all um, part of a divine thing. I'm going to say, we got in at a good time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you get people, like, trying to stay there to go to, like, the Fox? And- mm-hmm. We do. Um, most, of our, most of our clientele 
um, either our wedding parties, you know, mm -hmm. like uh, bridesmaids and those kind of things, when they wake up for the wedding, they get their hair done, their makeup done, and that kind of thing. Or like people coming in, going to Pullman Park. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's huge. Right. I didn't even know people spent money like that just to go to the game. 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 Just to travel as much. Just to support their team. Yeah. yeah. So it's interesting. Yeah. Hmm. It's interesting. I mean, so not only are you guys a bed and breakfast, you all offer other services. Right? We do. We uh we have a small event space. Mm -hmm. Uh, so we only up to forty people. We probably can fit more than forty, but we don't. Right. You know, just because we we love our space, we put a lot into it, and we we, we watch out for it. Right. So <laughs> forty people max. Um, <laughs> right. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Um, Why are you going upstairs? Right. <laughs> it's a little black rope. Or, <laughs> but yeah, exactly. So um, you keep your eye on forty, and um, it's comfortable, and and you know you want to make it comfortable. We want to make people as comfortable as possible in any situation. Mm -hmm. So we, we do small events, and we also do uh, events for our 501c3 organization, too. Okay. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Um, well, we have a 501c3 organization that we started about two years ago. Um, so we started throwing, like, these dinner jazz events. And next year, we're hoping to, um, I brought someone in to help, so we're hoping to kind of make it a little better, a little more um as opposed to us just planning it, we're bringing other people in to help us to do it mm -hmm. um, so it can make more sense for us, so we can really do what we need to do in the community. But um, last year, we were able to uh, supply, we adopted a school, mm -hmm. um, J.R. King. The old J.R. King is the charter school now. Mm -hmm. We were able to supply them with uh, back school <coughs> items, and um, we also gave Christmas gifts to 29 families. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah. That's major. Yeah, but it, it, it has to be that way. We, we have to do that. Yeah. You know, um, you know that's, that, that's, what, that's what you got to do. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it is. That's AKB. And I think the more people know that you're doing stuff like that, they're definitely going to want to support. Yeah, yeah. So these type of events, is it once a year? Is it quarterly? Well, How often? Well, we usually do it in the spring, summer. Mm -hmm. um, it's usually every, every third Thursday. And the ticket is only thirty five dollars, and it's a hundred percent tax deductible. Tax de you can um, a tax deductible, and yep, and um, it's is music and dinner, it's a full course meal, and um, you know we, we serve drinks. And drinks are not an additional cost or anything. I know, right? And a hundred percent. So we'll start it back up mm -hmm. when the spring hits. Okay. But um, one hundred percent, one hundred percent of the tickets go towards um, the nonprofit organization. What's the name? The Cochran House Nonprofit. <laughs> <laughs> like on social media. Yes, we are. Okay. we are. We are. We um, are. We don't have that many followers, but there's a couple. Throw it out there. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Right. Right. Definitely. So. Absolutely. Yeah. So I want to go next I know. Year. I'm really sad that I missed that. Oh, we'll yeah. definitely let you guys know. <laughs> oh, yeah. We'll let you guys know. So, so you... Oh, oh, go ahead. ahead. <laughs> <laughs> you two, Jess and Tiffany, um, yes. took a tour. Yes. So... Yeah. <laughs> it is so nice in there. So when you first walk in, it's just like, Whoa, you glowing like you talking no. about uh, <laughs> Egypt, baby. Right, <laughs> right. So I'm, like, I'm pretty yeah, like straightforward. So if I like something, like I like it. If oh, I don't, yeah. I'm like, oh yeah, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we well, gotta talk about it. No, this place is like simply amazing. Mm -hmm. Like as soon as you walk in, the decor is amazing. I can see the African American uh, the influences all over the yeah, house. That's it's, nice. Let me tell you, and then the bathroom. That's what you're talking about. <laughs> Why are you upset? She said that's what you couldn't stop talking about. No, he, I'm not upset. He, that was a, oh my gosh, she right look. Like, <laughs> holy First so of all, I saw a tub that I could fit in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taller than him, and I'm like, okay. <laughs> Submerged like water up to here. And, and you can. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And you can. You know how long it's been since this dude? Water came up to my neck. Oh my how God. about two? Stop <laughs> talking. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, it was no. The, the place is like simply amazing. Like you feel, we were just doing a tour, and it felt like welcoming, inviting. Mm -hmm. It felt really open. I would be comfortable. I was always kind of like apprehensive. You're in such close quarters with people you may not know. And it's like, yeah, that's they're like right across the hall. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't seem like that would be a problem. And then like the suite, 
like the TV is like the wall. <laughs> then the, the bathroom for the suite is like a steam a steam sauna. A steam sauna. A shower. Bruh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> your turn this out. <laughs> All right. No, I'm telling you, like, if you've got the time, go get a room, support yeah. them, because it's legit. Thank you. Thanks. Thank La- you so much. What I wanted to tell you, um, Last night, so after we did the tour, mm. I uh, went out with my friend, and he was staying at Shinola. Mm. So, like like I said, if I really like something, like, I'm telling everybody. Mm. I was walking, I was leaving, and Jalen Rose was coming in. Oh, wow. And I'm like, I should tell him, don't come in. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. <laughs> like, right. No, I gotta ask you right, 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 right. I'm like, that's going to come off really creepy. Exactly. <laughs> like, stay in this hotel. Right. But now I got a hotel for you. Right. Like, like, right. Security. <laughs> right. And we appreciate you. No, it was, no. It was, it was definitely an amazing place. Like, just, the, and even the, um, the pictures you have online, yeah. like, it photographs really well. So if you wanted to have an event there, the like, there is amazing. What you did with the, the decor is, it's amazing. Like, Thank you. Um, the lighting, the way um, the bedrooms are, are positioned, it doesn't feel small. It's uh-uh. small, but right. it doesn't feel small. Right. Like It reminds me of a uh, New York room, but way better. Mm-hmm. Way better. Um, the bathroom, though. He's, he's stuck <laughs> on his bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> but I did put a lot of thought into the bathroom, because I love bathrooms. Yeah. The, the bathroom, like, the shower and the tub is all in one little... Yeah, one little I saw like a picture of that. Yeah. I was gonna ask, like, how much work did you long. really have to put? It's been that long. Everything. How much work did you really have to put into the building? Like when you first got it, what did you have to replace? Four boards, all of that. We like, had to do everything. We had to do plumbing, electrical, oh. HVAC, uh, AC. Yeah, it walls. You added um, that staircase, right? Yeah, staircase. Yeah. Uh, we had to do everything. <laughs> Inspections were so aggravated. How long did they take? Oh my God! Five, well, construction completely mm-hmm. took about five years. We started um, the construction in 2013. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So the first thing we did was tear off the walls. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Damn. So you created all new rooms and everything too. Yeah, I sure did. Uh-huh. How many rooms is it? There's only there's only three guest rooms. Okay. And we have um, innkeepers' quarters on the third floor, mm-hmm. okay. so we pretty much stay out of the way. Mm-hmm. So we're we're technically not there until someone calls us mm-hmm. that needs us, and then we're right there mm-hmm. at that moment. But other than that, we're very hands off folks. So I know a lot of times in Denver, because you think that you know people are like, "Oh, you're my house," like, mm-hmm. 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 but no, it's not like hey, that. Come watch TV, you know, know, like no, 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 no. <laughs> right? Exactly. You don't feel like talking. Yeah. So, so um, right? Right. So we're uh, we're pretty much hands off. Uh, mm-hmm. We are an adult venue. So adult only bed and breakfast, so we don't allow children. Mm-hmm. Um, so I was about to say nice. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's how you preserve your thing. Well, well, I mean because other pe- other people are there and yeah. they want this time to relax. Yeah, you know? that's true. You know? And so mm-hmm. we uh, we want to keep it a certain kind of feel. So you all are upstairs. Does that mean like you're twenty four hour on call, or is it when people are there? Yes. Oh, yeah. When people <laughs> are there, yes. Um, what are you gonna like? Anything. That's you terrible. can leave though, like for a second, if you need yeah, to. You can. Mm-hmm. You can yeah, because the front door. You know what? To I think she's talking about you though. Yeah. yeah. Oh. We, yeah. we switch it up sometimes. We switch it up. Like, yeah. she needs to leave, then, you know, I'll stay there mm-hmm. and you'll call and vice yeah. versa. So. Yeah. But a lot of times when people are staying, we have free time just because they're not there mm-hmm. all the time. Yeah. Like most people who come stay are there to do something. Mm-hmm. So even if they're going to the game, they're probably at the game for six, seven hours. Mm-hmm. They come home just to go, um, come back just to go to sleep. Mm-hmm. You know, so we're not like we are available twenty four hours, but we're not like we're bothered. Yeah, we rarely really get calls. We rarely get calls. Yeah. If we get calls, it's probably because they need some more tiles or they've forgotten a toothbrush mm-hmm. or something like that. So, so it almost runs itself in a little bit. Yeah, it does. So it's breakfast, right? Mm-hmm. You guys have a chef. Or you guys are cooking, like you get up in the morning and cook for your guests? Just in the morning, yeah, we yeah. cook breakfast. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, now we do have a chef, but we have a chef for our That's events. That's what I found in picture. picture. We, yeah. ha- we have a chef for our events. So um, okay. my chef is my cousin. Okay. okay. And, um, Keep the family. <laughs> oh, yeah, exactly. And, um, and he does the event. Um, he prepares all the food for all events. 
So it doesn't matter whether you're doing a private dinner for 10 people or 40 people. Mm -hmm. We don't touch dinner because that's not our thing. (laughs) (laughs) We do breakfast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we stick to breakfast. Mm -hmm. Is there a prefix menu? Is it like, how do you... Well, then normally um, the guests choose what they want, mm-hmm. so it's not a prefix menu. We don't do like the traditional continental breakfast mm-hmm. like they do at most bed and breakfasts. Mm-hmm. Um, they can pick whatever breads they want, meats they want, eggs, however they want it prepared. Mm-hmm. Um, we also do vegan options, mm-hmm. uh, vegetarian mm-hmm. options. Sometimes we have special menu items that we do sometimes, mm-hmm. but it's pretty much like a home style breakfast. So yeah. it's kind of like your grandmother pre- preparing breakfast in the morning. Mm-hmm. Exactly. You know, grits. Eggs, bacon, exactly. sausage, sausage. So don't have to go to work the next day. Well. Because I'm, I'm going to be sleeping. Oh. <laughs> you will be sleeping. And it's, but wait a minute. It's so big. It it's really so is. big that you may not eat until dinner. We're always oh, wow. shocked because the yeah. thing is, is that people usually eat most of the breakfast. It's like the plate is just clean. It's usually clean. Like, and I tell Christina, like, oh, if it was me, I could, I could eat all, all of that. Really. Yeah. 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 So yeah. are you guys doing this full time? Because I know you're, you're a lawyer. I am. I I just recently got licensed, but the thing is that when I got licensed, we had started the bed and breakfast, and because we had just started, we got I got so excited about it. We Mm -hmm. both were excited about it that I haven't really started the practice yet. You guys are just doing this full time, huh? Yeah, nice. But that's a great idea because anything comes up, she's like, oh nope, I'm not lost. It really helps in that way. It does. It does. I'm like saying, can you look over this? Well, it was just basically like when you go to law school, it's kind of general law. I didn't specialize in anything. Okay. So, um, yeah, just general law. I didn't mm-hmm. do a concentration. Okay. Yeah. But that really comes in handy, like you said, to know the contracts. It and helps. Was there ever any moment where you actually had to pull that card and point out anything? Not yet. Okay. Not yet. Um, it's been pretty pretty chill so far. But you're ready. Yeah, yeah. Oh, if need ready. be. Always at the ready. Like, excuse me, say what? People sign this long disclosure and waiver coming in. Mm-hmm. So our check in process is pretty thorough. Okay. Mm-hmm. So is it, I mean, mm-hmm. rightfully so. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Is it an online check in process or you have to come in and physically sign these papers? Yes. Physically. Mm-hmm. I mean, you're coming to someone's home. Exactly. Yeah, like exactly. Like exactly. My house. Exactly. Completely. And we have to know who they are and those kind of things. And mm-hmm. We have the right to run a background check. Mm-hmm. We, we tell them that all the time. Mm-hmm. And he knows we're taking their uh, copy of their driver's license because we have to know who's there. Right. First of all, for safety and secondly, for liability. Mm-hmm. That, that makes sense. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Have you guys ever had any issues with guests? Everybody's been pretty respectful. Mm-hmm. Um, everybody really enjoys it. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, we nice. haven't had any um, issues like that. Now, is this your first business venture together, or have you all been in business together before? We've been in business together for oh, a long time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when my mom had a tutoring company, we were in business together. Oh, okay. So, we basically, she gave us um, administrative roles. Mm-hmm. And so, we had to work uh, together. Well, I was like... Uh, I was over like the southern region, and she was over Michigan. So I was in Atlanta back and forth for ten years. Wow! Oh, so you did move away? Yeah, I did. Okay. I did it back and forth. Mm-hmm. So why was it so important to come back and open the bed and breakfast here? Because I feel like Atlanta would be uh, a decent place to have a. It is, but but for one, my family is here. Mm-hmm. You know, like my my sister, my mama at the time, my daddy. Mm-hmm. You know, before they both passed. Mm-hmm. But um, but something. You know, it's, it's something about trying to have a business in the city that you've been born and raised in. And one of those things is a bed and breakfast is a place where you go to meet people that know what the city is, mm-hmm. right? That's true. And so even if it's outside of these new restaurants that's popping up downtown, everybody got to know about an ENS. Everybody mm-hmm. got to know about a... You understand what I'm that saying? Well, but, but, <laughs> but what I'm saying is everybody needs to know about these places that Detroit has traditionally had forever. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, so if you want to know about Bakers, if you want to know about other places that's maybe not in the downtown area that can give you really good service... Mm-hmm. You know, I know where it's at because right. yeah. I've been here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, so um, that's what I tell first and all time is, is that we want to bring the Detroit feel. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, when people come to Detroit, we want to give them a taste of what Detroit is truly about. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and the 
it's not whitewashed or part of a chain. Exactly. Or it's not like people who don't know the city who yeah. came in for a quick buck. Right. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? So I think it, I think it, 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 in some degree, becomes our obligation to kind of, if we've been born and raised here, mm-hmm. come back and try to, you know, um, pass, uh, pay it forward to everybody else. That's nice. That's, uh, love it. I love y'all. <laughs> <laughs> now you mentioned, oh, you mentioned that um, you had the property for a while, and you sat on it. How, exactly how long did you sit on the property before you? We bought it in two thousand ten. Yeah. So right. what? Like ten. Years. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. Do you still think that that's something that could be done here in Detroit? Because a lot of people want to buy, flip, rent, you know, but really sitting on property for a little while to see what happens. I always say, this is what I always say. I'm not saying it's completely right. <laughs> <laughs> but I told them, I'm like, for me, you know, because, um, you know, a lot of us, we don't have a, a large, a huge starting point, you know, like a lot of people, mm-hmm. you know. So right. we may it's have a small, budget, right? Yeah. We may have a small budget that we're working with. So I always say that if you're um, looking to start investing in real estate, always invest in land because you don't really have to do too much to it. You don't have to do the plumbing that's $20,000. You don't have to do the electrical that costs an arm and a leg. You just have to mow the grass. (laughs) You understand what I'm saying? And you can kind of get the man walking up and down the street every day to do that. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then you wait on that, um, the infill development to come on. So when the area is going up in value, your parcel, your land is going up in value as well. Mm -hmm. It may not go for two hundred and fifty thousand dollars that the house is worth, but if somebody bought your land for seventy and put a hundred thousand dollar house on it, they still got equity Mm -hmm. in the two hundred and fifty thousand dollar area. You know, so if you bought it at five thousand dollars and flip it in three years for eighty, you're still walking out the closing. Yeah, seventy five thousand dollars. So you have to, you know, think about, you know, um, doing that. Because parcels, you can buy at a lower cost than you can a house and put all that money into it. And the taxes aren't that And the taxes per year. So you think about when you when you purchase a new house and if the, if the property value is going up, the tax cap is coming off. Mm-hmm. Which means that the if the person before you was only paying $1,500 dollars a year you may buy it and now you're paying three thousand because it's based on how much the property is worth, it's worth at, that, at time. that time yeah. so when you're doing when you're dealing with just land it's no it, you have no property on the land so your tax taxes may be like 400 a, a year which is nothing right which is which is nothing and it's before you can kind of before and so once you sell those couple parcels and maybe you may maybe maybe then you can go into uh-huh. you know um actual real estate and buying a house or something like that because now you have the capital now you have the capital Spending some game on here. I, I know. know. Uh, she was <laughs> yesterday like had all the game. Knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> because the the house that you had was not the Cochran house was not the first no not the first property mm-hmm. right you want to talk about yeah, I was gonna say we've been uh, investing in property uh, since well my first place was when I was twenty two twenty two years old something like that um, I'm old now so I don't remember. Oh. <laughs> um, but but you know um, but yeah you know and so I found that you know going through that we we bought a lot of our properties when the when, during the recession mm-hmm. so and I'm, right but I didn't know exactly what the benefit was until the recession was over mm-hmm. and then I'm like damn you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. like this is this it's is something yeah right yeah. it's a difference and so I think that you know and I say it all the time I can never take credit for the things that God has given me but at the end of the day you know when you notice a big change like that you're like okay well this is how you know we need to try to start creating wealth you know in our house so this is what you you do to pass down from generation to generation mm-hmm. you know this is how people get those head starts in life where sure. ne- we may ne- have necessarily not had, mm-hmm. you know, in the past. So, yeah, that's that's the thing I learned. <laughs> yeah. So, like, cars and stuff to me, like like I say it all the time, my car has got a rattling noise in it, nah. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, I, but it don't matter. It, it, right. But it gets me from point mm-hmm. A to point B, you mm-hmm. know. And I used to be, back in the day, one of those, you know, got to had a, you know. Mm-hmm. But, like, it's just so me, like, like to me, you know, Spending forty thousand dollars on a car, I'd rather go get 
a piece of land. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. That's going that's to pay for it. It's going to pay it's, for yeah. one. Most times, most times, land is going to keep its value or go up. Most times, unless it's just like a crazy time, like the recession. Have you ever had to take a loss? I've never taken a loss. Hello. <laughs> I've, never taken that. Yeah. <laughs> I've never taken a loss. Mm-hmm. That is a blessing. Yeah. Wow. It is. Yeah. I think it's important to try to scout out the certain areas, too. It is. Okay, how do you guys know about, like, okay, if you were looking for a new property, what do you do, right? Um, or what I, do you use? Like, because I know about, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's going to real crazy. They it probably are. I'm going to be sure. I'm going to say it because it's, it's true. true. Okay, I'm going to say it because it's true. When you drive in areas and you see people that got their windows up at night, mm-hmm. <laughs> they say shades up at night. Oh, it's a good area. It's a good area. Yeah. Signs of gentrification. Yeah. Signs of gentrification. Yeah. So, yeah. Because you might, you know they yeah. not black. <laughs> because when we grew up, when we grew up, you close the windows. You close the windows. You close the windows. You lock all. You make sure everything is locked, and you making sure the alarm go beep beep. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. <laughs> You can see urban gardens. You can see ur- urban gardens. You understand mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Parks That's popping a, up. My uh, dad still says, like, close my shades before somebody throws a brick through the window. Yeah, the white lady walking her dog. Right, exactly, the, the dog at, right, exactly. Right. exactly. Right. exactly. Right. So look for signs of gentrification early. Mm-hmm. And then look into those parcels. Look into those pieces of land. Because I'm telling you, once they redo all the houses... Now they're going to want to build, build, build houses yeah, to yeah. get into the area. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. So it be so like neighborhood pieces of land are what you're saying. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. You're giving you away. Get, you know we coming up on another recession anyway. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I mean, so you, you get your ducks in a row. Hello. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Save yeah. your bread. Yeah. 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 Save get your 401k uh, straight. I was going to say. Throw all the money out. Throw all the money out. You know. Oh, God, um, like I'm only going to give y'all this twice. Throw all the money out. I don't know what's going to happen after that. That's real. Throw mm-hmm. all the money out. You know, you just have to make sure your taxes is in order. Mm-hmm. Make sure you talk to your accountant. And get your, your IRS together. <laughs> <laughs> That's a damn, a lot of people up. Yeah. 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 Mm. Wow. Yeah. I know. <laughs> That's what they say. Uh, so are you jewelry? Are you going to, uh, <laughs> jewels. Are you going to, like, what, so what do you see in like five years or ten? Like, um, just well, more property? And let's start with five years. Five years. We would like to do another bed and breakfast. But right now, okay. we're just day by day. We're in the now. Mm-hmm. And we want to try to make what we have really good because mm-hmm. um, we work so hard we we'll put a lot of love into it mm-hmm. and so we would hate for it to be anything less than what we think or what we can do as best mm-hmm. so we can only do what we can do as best in the city you want another one um, I, I think I'm going to go out of state for the next one okay mm-hmm. I like that yeah I think okay. I'm going to go out of state for the next one that would be a good idea you've already had some roots in Atlanta so maybe yeah. there yeah or... I was thinking yeah a couple mm-hmm. places that, mm-hmm. that I know that I would have support mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Part of the fame from here, it's, it's coming. It's, it's coming. coming. Yeah. yeah. And then take that anywhere else. Yeah. Would you do like after you duplicated this model out of state, would you come back to Michigan, like maybe somewhere up north or whatever? Or? Um, you know what? There's a couple places that um, not Michigan, but there's a couple places that um, I would love to have one, like a Napa Valley. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh man. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm country. <laughs> <laughs> goals. Yeah. For real goals. But, yeah. you know, I don't know the, I don't know how easy that would be, me mm-hmm. being black woman. Mm-hmm. You know, but, you know, you you, 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 you you try to do what you, you can do. And if you can't, then you, you figure it out. Yeah. How you can. Right. Right. <laughs> right. You, know? Like, no, you know, you figure out how you can. You all have the, the platform. Like, basically, you have your, your business speak for itself. Mm-hmm. Like, once you go there, yeah. you know, I'm here, I'm there, you know. You, you want this here. Yeah. You know, this, this yeah. Will, we the hot thing. Well, that's, that's what we, that's what we, cho- that's what we hope. That's what we hope to do. So, yeah. No, I definitely see it. Yeah. yeah. Definitely okay. see it. Even looking at the pictures online, like I said, I hate that I missed the tour yesterday, but it, it was, it looked beautiful. And so, how, like, what's your availability like? Well, uh, weekends are like. Oh my god! So we're like two months out. Yeah. Oh. So people are no, no, not two months. Maybe a month and a half. Okay. You know our weekends, but like our weekdays are pretty chill. Like you know, like today we're here, mm-hmm. so we haven't got to the point where we're like book solid like mm-hmm. every single day. You know, because we have days here and there, but uh, our weekends are they're they're hitting up there. 
Yeah. Well, you gotta take weekends first, then the weekdays. Right. You know. Like, well, I don't want to come, so yeah. right. Yeah. I'll take Tuesday. Night. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I'm shocked you, or or maybe you do, like you know, people who are visiting from or just for business. Mm-hmm. We, well, you know we get, I mean? we get hard to get I workshops say, yeah, and things like that. We're so shops. many business people downtown. We get them from time to time. Um, we get more workshops probably during the week. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. if there is something during the week, it's probably somebody doing like that kind of thing mm-hmm. um, or maybe uh, lunches for like companies mm-hmm. that they want the chef to do a brunch or something mm-hmm. but yeah so we're getting mm-hmm. there and you all should really market towards like when they have things specifically for African Americans in the city whether it's something political or in the yeah. new market for that I'm yeah. sure oh, yeah. you would fill up yeah. fast those yeah. are the plans <laughs> yeah. like, I was going to say like when the debate was here mm-hmm. yeah we had mm-hmm. Corey Booker mm-hmm. oh really, really? Yeah. Corey Booker y'all yeah. famous famous <laughs> <laughs> well, girl we ain't know sir I still need to cry right I need somebody to say this I'm serious I'm serious I'm serious Yeah, it's right. a fire pit. Yeah, it is. Are there pictures of that online? There is. There is. Like, there's an actual virtual tour you can walk through the house. Mm -hmm. And then if you click on, like, outside, like, if you click on a window, it'll automatically take you outside. And then you can, like, walk around that. Well, it'll show you. One thing I didn't ask um, when we were there is parking. Is it all just street parking? It's all street parking. Um, I've been trying to figure parking out for the last seven years with the city of Detroit and have not been able to get anything yet. Yeah. You see how that can be a fight? <laughs> no, it, it definitely is. No, they took your paperwork and said, yeah. So what'd you say? I know. <laughs> exactly, exactly. You know, so it's, it's, and then it's one of those areas that are, um, it's a hugely gentrified area. Mm-hmm. So we were able to get in because we bought so long ago. Mm-hmm. I don't think that even if the place was available right now, Oh, no, that you could buy it that easily? It, it, no. No, no, no. no, no. The, city, uh-uh. the, the city has bought everything yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. The, you're, you're yeah. the city. The, the city, the city and Dan Gilbert or Mike Illich. Yeah. 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 That's, That's crazy. crazy. And they get to, and they get yeah. to yeah. choose. And oh, they yeah. get to choose. Because yeah. yeah. what they've done is they wrapped everything in RFPs, which are like um, proposals. So mm-hmm. requests for proposals. So basically you have to have millions of dollars in order for them to even look consider the consider table. have a seat at the table right and so that's that's the problem mm-hmm. you know so because it makes that makes me feel like black you can't get in. missed out on yeah on, on buying i lives. think we've missed out on that downtown detroit train yeah, yeah. But we, right. but yeah. exactly the train has moved just a little further that's uh, it let me drop going to those in. neighborhoods mm-hmm. like the that liver noise area, mm-hmm. um, mm-hmm. like that Rosedale Park mm-hmm. area, all those places. I mean, th- they were on anyway, as, right? As far as like good neighborhoods, going down Woodward. I say go down, yeah. go down, yeah, Woodward. Going down Woodward. Yeah, I say go down Woodward because they're gonna extend that queue line all the way to Eight Mile. Mm-hmm. And I say that um, if you can find good property off of that Woodward, um, east or west, mm-hmm. it, it's coming. Mm-hmm. It's coming because just like in Atlanta. It's the same thing. They started in a certain area and it starts pushing out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, so if, if if I were to look into investments, it would be anything off the Woodward line. Mm-hmm. 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 Not necessarily Woodward, but but off of that area. Off that area. And hurry up, like you said, before the city buys it. Hurry up. Even, oh, they own a lot of it now. Yeah. They own a lot of even, it now. Even further expanded in the neighborhood, I was looking at where my family is from. And my aunt still lives on the block. And she's like, oh, no, the city won't sell these abandoned houses. Oh, yeah. They're mm-hmm. waiting. They're waiting yep. us out. They're waiting. I'm like, what? No. Like, and that's that's, crazy. that's a true story. Yeah. And I guess that's what sometimes aggravates me because it's like, okay, so you mean to tell me now it's not, you know, you can't call it a racist thing any longer? Mm-hmm. Um, well, this is hidden for that. It's, mm-hmm. it's more like a, a economic thing. It's mm-hmm. more like a... You know, cause it's, class class it's classic. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? So it, it's one of those things where it's like, okay, they, you know, 
classism. Uh, they ain't gonna they ain't think about that, especially in court. Now I'm I'm sitting here with an attorney, mm-hmm. so you know she she knows you know if you were to take this to court, what that would mean. Mm-hmm. It ain't gonna mean nothing. Mm-hmm. It ain't gonna mean nothing. It would take a lot of people to have That's to come. Actually, yes, 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 yes. And then they would still bury it. it I was, yes. I was gonna yeah. say yeah. it's a government. It's you know, a government. You'd be in court for years. It's a government. That's all I got to like, say. Because they have money to throw at it. Yeah. So I'm going to keep burying you. Yeah. You're not giving a paper attorney. Delays, 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 delays. Yeah. 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 I always tell my sister, the only thing that they will say is that this person is bringing money to the city and it That's benefits it. the city. Yeah. Yeah. So once they say that yeah. it benefits the city, mm-hmm. then they say, what can you do for it? Exactly. Yeah. They compare it. Mm-hmm. And you at that point, you don't have a chance. Yeah. It's like, well, exactly. I'm just trying. Exactly. <laughs> I'm just trying to get a leg up. Right. And you know, and then, and that's my issue is that is it won't allow you to get a leg up. Mm-hmm. Dang. Because they're, they're waiting out for those, you know, big conglomerates oh. to come in yep. and buy up this exactly. whole area. So exactly. if you can't come in with a couple million dollars to uh-huh. buy up this area, yeah. mm-hmm. I, don't, I, don't I, don't, I don't need you. Yeah. I, I can mm-hmm. I can keep, we, it's, we own it. The city owns it. So yeah. we're not paying taxes yeah. on it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So exactly. we just sit. It's, yeah. it, now it's, we got some in the land bank yeah. that they need to be torn down. You can buy those yeah. for, exactly. for $500. Yeah. So <laughs> what y'all, y'all think, what y'all think is going to happen to those areas in like the next 15, 20 years? Which you areas? think black people are just going to get pushed out? Which areas? Like the areas you saying like I think they, they need to bought. keep. I think, that, I think they you need to keep. To, if you don't own something, I think, I think you need to keep your house. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Like mm-hmm. for real, yeah. I think you need to keep your house. If you think and and my thing is, you know, black black people, especially in Detroit, our houses have never been worth this amount of money in so long. Mm-hmm. So we're like, oh wow, it's worth eighty thousand dollars. Oh, right, but, right. You, but, 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 but but really, you know, so mm-hmm. there. This is the first time that they may be able to get out their mortgage and maybe make twenty thousand. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm That's saying? It's life changing it for a lot of people. So you know, people are going to take advantage of it. But I'm just saying, if you're oh. in the these areas hold on because it's coming. Mm-hmm. It's coming. Because mm-hmm. yeah. I was a child, my mom used to always tell me like they are. They make it initially. They made it hard for people, for black people, to go into the suburbs. Mm-hmm. All of a sudden, they just opened up the floodgates mm-hmm. and said, sure, we'll, go ahead, come on mm-hmm. in. Oh, yeah. We'll buy up all those nice brick homes, mm-hmm. those well-built homes, Completely. and you can have this nice drywall. Oh, yeah. That's right. right. That's true. And it's cute. Right. <laughs> mm-hmm. She's That's like, true. keep your home. Even during a recession, she's like, I'm never leaving the city of Detroit. Yes. Mm-hmm. I'll take the hit now, yes. but it's pretty much too big to fail. Mm-hmm. And I say That's true. But Detroit, Detroit is a city that on international water. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It, it you, you are, I mean, we are a city that's really not like any other city. Mm-hmm. Trade you understand what I'm saying? I mean, come on now. Mm-hmm. To any investor, mm-hmm. to anybody that that has a, a, even a smallest amount of sense would know that Detroit <laughs> is the money here. Yep. Mm-hmm. You know, and so that's why, I, yeah, so I stress that. I stress, please, please do not sell your house. No. Nope. There's so many people. And like, if your grandma left you a house, keep paying your taxes. I, I was just about to say that. So many people <laughs> grandma yeah. left, left the house. Left the house and they just. taking care yeah. of like, oh, that's, Whatever, that's in the city. Yeah. But it's a nice, well built brick. Yes, house. it is. Yes, it is. It needs some work. And I love. But it's still structurally a great home. Thank you. Yeah. Dang, you, you make me think like a lot, like especially what you just like, a lot of younger people are kind of like, I don't live there anyway. Like, mm-hmm. it's an extra bill because you still. Have to pay the taxes to right. keep that house, mm-hmm. but it's worth it. It's worth it. I mean, what other bills do we, we pick up? And your grandma, I'm talking about the mentality. No, I'm, 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 I'm all for keeping no, it. Yeah. no, I'm just yeah. saying, like, the, <laughs> I guess the, the response to that is well, you know, everybody running to this, that, and third, you got a going out bill, you got a travel bill, that's yeah. true. And, and everybody, I agree. we got yeah. cable bills, you know, mm-hmm. there's ways to get around that. I mean, I just picked up one, but yeah, <laughs> there, but it's, it's ways to get around yeah. all these extra bills. You can put this $400 a, a year, a year, into taxes. and see, and that's what I'm saying. Like, and your grandmother is paying that kind of money mm-hmm. yeah. a year, yeah. The tax cap yeah. ain't came off of that. You yeah. understand yeah. what I'm her saying? Name. Keep it in her name. Yeah. So, my thing is, you know, um, and even with that. Even with that, you know, there's certain priorities that we as black people have to make. Okay? Maybe we don't necessarily have to go to every concert, mm-hmm. go to every bar. Maybe we don't have to do that. You understand what I'm saying? Maybe mm-hmm. we could just figure out, you know, how to, um, you know, get or invest in things that's really going to really make you some money. Mm-hmm. You know? And, and then you could do whatever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Then at that point, you do whatever. 
They should be on every weekend. Like, what are you, what are you uh, selling? You know? I actually <laughs> saw my song. I was. <laughs> right. Trying? I mean, right, I, right. as a culture, we don't really have that that long term mindset right. yeah. anyway. Like, we yeah. in living in the moment. In for the now. Yeah. Just like I said, like a week or two ago, like, we not like going like put the whole family in one house and it's like 15 of us just mm-hmm. need to save money to save up for a business. That's yeah. the best That's not how we think. Mm-hmm. We all like, I got to get away from you. Mm-hmm. I need my own space. Yeah. And, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I mean that's what we did that. Mm-hmm. We did that. Like when See? we were when we were building mm-hmm. the Cochran house, we actually pulled everybody together. We all went to my grandmother's house and that's the way we did it. That's mm-hmm. smart. Mm-hmm. That's the way we did it because all the investment money had to go into that's building this property. Yeah. Right. So we couldn't have a whole bunch of people three different light bills and three different mm-hmm. gas bills and mm-hmm. three different, you know, mm-hmm. our cars are paid off, but three different insurances. Insurances is hiding them up yeah, exactly. in the city. You understand yes. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So yeah, it's, it's like, you know, you, 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 sometimes you, you, it may be seven y'all in the house. So, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? If you're trying to build if for something, goal. if you have a goal and you're trying to build for something better, sacrifices have to be made. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Have to be Absolutely. Made. You mm-hmm. said we, so is your cousin in the business or someone else in the business with you all? It's just you, us. Okay, it's I just thought us. you said like it was no, a couple he, of us. No, my, no, 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 my, um, no, I was, I was speaking like my mom and, mm-hmm. you know, my uh-huh. uncle. Yeah, they helped us to oh, like awesome. make sure that we, you know, put the money towards that so mm-hmm. we didn't have to really try mm-hmm. to figure out how to pay, you know. Right. No, that's really funny. inspiring yeah. me right I now. Know. Like, I already told no. myself I wasn't going to take all these trips next year because I really got to start t- saving money. Mm-hmm. And I think that's part of a generational thing, too, like living in the moment, mm-hmm. wanting to experience everything right yeah. now. Yeah. But, you know, you can you can wait. Yeah. And if, God forbid, you don't get to do it, it wasn't for you. Yeah. If you have other goals in mind, you need to put that first. So. Yeah, and I, I was going to say, and um, everything is in, in, in a timely order, you know. And I can't say I didn't, you know, when I was your age, probably like, hey, you know, spend money. <laughs> you know, she's like, oh, right. <laughs> like, where you oh, what I mean, but y'all graduated in You can't be that old. old. I was oh, an old four. Oh, three. Okay, so I'm 40. I'll be 41. Oh, girl. Let me uh, tell you about my black don't crack. <laughs> 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 yeah, 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 you made it sound like you was like the young No, I definitely yeah. thought you were around our age. Yeah. Like, I absolutely. No, you're not that far from our age. <laughs> not, but, no, but, I, but I'm saying. I'm you know, in so, early 30s. Yeah. yeah, me too. Mm-hmm. But yeah, you so, ain't that far off in real life, though. That's why I, I got you. I got you. Yeah. But, but, yeah. but when I was when I was y'all age, I did. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So you know, it was like okay, yeah. Like I said, I really didn't know what I was doing specifically, but it happened to be that, and I'm like, okay, so now you know, it's my job or our job to mm-hmm. make sure we black people understand what it is that they can acquire mm-hmm. and how you can acquire it. Mm-hmm. And a lot of times you got to make a whole bunch of sacrifices in order to do it. And ain't nothing wrong with that. I'm broke today. I'm on a financial diet. I ain't got it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it is what it is. And when you guys bought the house, or when, when you started, you mm-hmm. were technically younger than us then. Yeah, I was right. Uh, so I was like 30. Party. Yeah. When I bought the Conquer House, I was 30. Yeah. Yes, yeah. so I was like 30. Yeah. I feel like I made so many wrong decisions. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> we had some people on the You still got time. I was just about to say, that's girl, please. Oh, yeah. I, 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 I mean, it's a yeah. great time to grow. Said, great segment, Amazing Women. Come on. Mm-hmm. You should clap you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Yay, yeah. thank you. I mean, you said you still yeah. have time to grow. Yeah, absolutely. Because, you know, you hear about, like, okay, you need to buy real estate. And it's like, mm-hmm. I mean, that sounds good. But, like, how much money do I really have? Like, yeah. yeah. Do I have all of this money to put towards real estate? No, but do I have money to go buy, you know, mm-hmm. yeah. something nice? Uh, uh, Louis. I was going right. to say. <laughs> 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 we all do it. We all, do it. I, we all got one. Mm-hmm. I have to do it. Yeah, yeah. I do it. I get it. No, 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 I get it. I no, get it. No, balance is everything. Balance right? is everything. So it's not about like, okay, I'm all for it. Like, yeah, treat yourself, but yeah. also have... Have the end game in mind, right? right? Yeah. You're not yeah. buying one every month, every time you get paid, yeah. like yeah. some other people. So but, you right. get it. Unfortunately, within our culture, we do it for everyone else, though. Mm-hmm. That's why yep. people are out every weekend popping bottles for no reason. Mm-hmm. It's not a birthday. It's not you ain't. They're even, celebrating. You didn't even get a job today, like right? <laughs> what you celebrating? Like, <laughs> no, no, That's no, all they had. What are they toasting? <laughs> nothing, nothing amazing happened. It's the took, highlight. We you got to think about the mindset. Those things make got, people feel good because they might not have other things to make them feel. That's what I'm saying. That's all they had. But 
I, I, I'm, I'm with you. <laughs> I mean, but why don't they have other yeah. things? Because what, what, not, what she's saying. They don't know. Like, it's talk to no, me about somebody. How, did, how okay. did you get like. So, I'm, like, immediately when you say something like that, there's somebody that doesn't. What's wrong with investment groups? Where do you find them? Like, well, how do you know how to put one it? together? Okay. You put one together with your friends. Put one together. You all invest in the yeah, a thousand dollars. I was just about to say, or maybe two thousand dollars. Okay, y'all don't want. I mean, piece. technically, y'all. We, have we work fun. together. We work together. Yeah, we got our own situation. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it took time. It did. It took time. It did. A lot of time. A lot of waiting. A lot mm-hmm. of time. You know, um, a lot of trying to figure things out. A lot of mess ups. But sim. sim- 401ks, tax shelters, like I said, if, if, if somebody has, okay, so I know teachers for us because I was a teacher, mm-hmm. tax shelter. So a tax shelter is um, a, some money that's taken out before you even see the funds in your check. Mm-hmm. So you don't even really even feel mm-hmm. what it is you're putting up. By the time you go to that check shelter, uh, three or four years later, you may have $7,000 put up in your tax shelter. Mm-hmm. That $7,000 you can borrow from mm-hmm. is taxed. But you don't have to put it back if you don't feel like putting it back. It's taxed. But you could take that $7,000 and you can go buy you some property. And see, and, and I think about that because Rodrika, she loves look up property. That's like her favorite past. I'm, I get notifications. And so, it is. Yeah, she's yeah. addictive. She, she does so that. Yeah. And we were just talking about up the Woodward Court, you know, corridor. Mm-hmm. And she was she found a piece of property that was like $10,000 that was in the north end. Just, just mm-hmm. east. Mm-hmm. Of Woodward, right. okay, ten thousand dollars. Now imagine if you had a group, everybody probably could afford two thousand dollars a piece. Yeah. A piece. You have five people. You put in two thousand dollars. You have a piece of property. So the Go problem with that is, is that it's the discipline. And, Thank and that, and you. And, and that, people, that, and that's true. People ain't serious. Because I've had this conversation with a couple groups of people. Mm-hmm. For the last ten years. Yeah. Like we pick new people. Every so you talking to the wrong people. Sound like. You sure ain't asked me. <laughs> Every um, couple of years, the the you know the we push a little further. Okay, let's figure out an account. Who's gonna you know? It's like it's the particulars that people get caught up on. They do. Where That's we, true. What we gonna yeah. put the money? They Who do. Who have this? Who gonna control? How fast am I gonna get my money back? Well, I'm gonna get my money back. But see, and, and that's because. When you're investing money that you need next week, mm-hmm. you that's can't why. Do that. bit, yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying. You, you, exactly. You can't, and that's what we. That's what people think. And that's oh, the hard part of it. But you got to get with like-minded people, and yeah. then yeah. come up yeah. with an agreement. You do. Mm-hmm. When you sit down at the table, you have a written agreement, and you let them know that once we in, once we invest in this property, we're going to hold on to this property for ten years. Have mm-hmm. everybody agree to this. So yeah. at this point, you done made a legal agreement. Mm-hmm. You get twenty percent. You get twenty percent. You get twenty percent. You get twenty percent. So listen to your contracting service. <laughs> All right. I'm, making, I'm making a suggestion. Yeah. I'm definitely making a suggestion. Yeah. 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 But I mean, just let me know. But you, but you, oh, you, you, you want some working on my brain. But you, but you want to protect. But you want to protect it, and you want to also go into there because you, because I can see how you can have those little yeah. disputes. It's when people want to pull out now. Well, yeah. you know what? We don't gain. Well, I need my money. We don't gain five thousand dollars. Now I think we should pull out. Mm-hmm. Well, you need to make sure that everybody's on the same page, and you mm-hmm. make sure that they can't deviate. They can't mm-hmm. deviate. In the contract, yeah. I mean, that's just like a um, what is it? A, um, a whole life insurance or a mutual bond that has certain terms. Mm-hmm. You can't pull your money out. Mm-hmm. They gonna say what? <laughs> you gave me this two thousand dollars, and that was it. You gotta wait until the term is up. And if you gonna take it, we gonna take a third. Of course, of course. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? To, 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 to take your money, to take your money. So if you wanna put that in your contract. <laughs> after you want to come out, yeah, it's we gonna take a greater percentage of it. Okay, go ahead. Hey, y'all, y'all got some. Gosh, even if you got ten people, like a thousand dollars, you could lose a thousand dollars. Exactly. Y'all just made me think of something I read. It was uh, some, some, some sign about spend a thousand. Just about. Thank you. <laughs> some sign, of, some sign about gambling, right? It, it basically said like. <laughs> okay. Like that, you know. You like three TVs. Yep, yeah, that's true. TV, all of those things. It's I've been trying to cancel cable for like the last two years. Yeah. And I'm fooling. No, I'm and like, so I run the numbers. I'm like, I could get a whole twelve hundred dollars yeah. a year if yeah. I cancel cable. Yeah. Yeah. So what's what stopping you? Um, it, I, the, 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 creature, the creature. I don't even watch a lot of TV. 
It's just the fact that I like to have access to something. I don't like to be denied something. And see, and that's the thing. It's like sometimes we just have to... (laughs) I know. (laughs) We just got to figure out, you know, what it is that we can make those sacrifices. Because really $1,000 a year is a few dollars a week. Yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's like, okay, I know people can find a few dollars a week Mm -hmm. sacrifice. Stop getting coffee. Awesome. Stop <laughs> eating that. Take That's your real. lunch. That's <laughs> real. And I always say a piece of land is better than the bank. Because well. you can't take it out unless you go through hoops trying to sell it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you That's understand true. what I'm saying? Uh-huh. And the interest grows quicker. I mean, the equity grows quicker than the interest. Mm-hmm. Man, that was definitely some Why jewels there. there. Right. Oh, right. <laughs> <I'm motivated. laughs> No. So, oh, what you said made me think of the gambling sign or whatever I've seen before where it's saying, like, um, don't gamble what you can't afford to lose. That's true. Mm-hmm. So, same concept as this. Like, you got to actually have it in your mind yep. that money's gone. I think Jay-Z you know said, what I'm saying? yeah, Jay-Z like, said that, didn't he? Like, if you can't buy it twice, you can't, you can't afford it. it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's everything. Think about it. Yep. If you cannot buy it twice... Mm. Then you cannot. Hey, we went off lot. You gotta say that again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah that's, that's real. Yeah. Okay. Say it one more. Say well, one I again. said. I think Jay Z said it. <laughs> if you can't buy it twice, you cannot afford it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So think right. about that. You can afford a McDonald's chicken sandwich. <laughs> Can you afford two? <laughs> but, but I'm saying. <laughs> so if you, if, 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 if you ain't got the two dollars, okay. you got to talk about. <laughs> you need a whole new life, a whole new job. You don't need to be at the doctor. You're filling out applications. Yeah. Well, yeah. Ladies, we do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, appreciate you. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. I've been in Thank you for the free one. game. Right. Yeah. 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 You got me all fired up again. Yeah. Okay, good. good. Definitely good. have to have you all on again. Okay, and, definitely. Um, definitely. Yeah. Definitely yeah. have to come stay. I know. Yes. Come well, that was the goal. I'm so proud yeah. of y'all. Like I don't. I just met y'all today. I'm really proud of y'all. And that's I haven't even seen it. Like I want to be out here. Like I just want to see on people. Oh, oh, y'all stuff. <laughs> <laughs> That's not crazy. Like, hey, y'all should probably go down here to the camera. You're not. I told her from the Jersey Road. I said, hey, like, go check this website out real quick. I was going to say, mm-hmm. yeah. Was she was like, no, I knew it. She was like, I heard about them before. I yeah. said, where? <laughs> I was going to say, y'all don't forget about our events when we start having them. Because yeah, then you definitely want to build the nonprofit. Because yeah. yeah. can you imagine? Now, all right, I got 35. Out in the community? Us out in the community? trying to like educate teach those kind of things yes. that's what it's about yes that's what it's about yes please keep us informed. hey you just made me think it's I, like i just came from we just came from a, like a youth worker retreat mm-hmm. it was like what 20 to 30 of us yeah that would have been a nice space to have to a have bunch of black like people in yeah. doing something positive yeah. like yeah, yeah. <sighs> <laughs> Well, please myself. <laughs> yeah. Um, any any last words? Would you all like to put the handle out for your social medias for the Cochrane House? Yes. Please follow us on all social media. I really don't do Twitter. We really don't do Twitter a lot. But well, at, everything is <laughs> at the Cochrane three one three. So follow us on there. Our website is www.thecochranehouse.com, or you can call us uh, at our front desk at three one three two three zero zero three nine eight. See, Graves 18 said they need to host a seminar. Maybe mm-hmm. y'all yeah. host a seminar at the house. house. Right. At Roll the house. Overhead, okay. Charge people to get in. Okay. So that people are seeing the house. Yeah. They get free games. Well, that's well, that's not they get work. <laughs> <laughs> and y'all serve breakfast anyway. Yeah, we do serve breakfast anyway. Having like a brunch. A brunch. Okay. 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 That's could, a thought. Y'all could do a business brunch. That's a thought. Brunch and business. That's a thought. That's an excellent idea. Yeah. Excellent. I mean, and that that not only are people learning, but now they're seeing the house. And I'm like, I might have to stay this here. Is I, I gotta come back here. Right. Yeah. <laughs> y'all gotta remember. Y'all gotta be okay with it. You know, you can you can stay in a box for a couple of years or in a cardboard box on the corner for a couple of years. Right? <laughs> <laughs> gotta remember. Stay you know, in somebody's right. somebody's, I'm I'm serious. I'm dead serious. Mm-hmm. You gotta remember that. You gotta be okay with that. You gotta be diligent and yeah, and you gotta be okay that. with that. Do you know how much money if I went and lived in somebody's land? Yeah. How much money I would have? You would be money? having that piece of land mm. going down a little corridor. Yeah. <laughs> Two, three good months, and yeah. I'll be all right. Yeah. I did it. I look. But I'm saying, I'm, but, not, I'm not taking that's why you it far. Away. 
<laughs> but that's but but it, but I'm not taking like I guess I'm like at the point where I'm like oh okay like I don't I need to do something else. Mm-hmm. Now, be okay with it. Y'all are like though. getting me like I'm saying be okay. Right with now it. you're comfortable. It's time yeah. to do something. Be else. okay yeah. with it. Now, I'm not saying be at your mama house and then not do nothing. Right. I ain't saying that. Yeah. I'm saying have a plan. Mm-hmm. Have an exit strategy is what I'm saying. Like we went in and got a house together in Detroit. Yeah. Me and my mom. The house was like. Cause that's why I was asking, like, mm-hmm. what y'all like research and stuff. Cause I look on, I look up houses, like, yeah. it got like kind of crazy. I was looking every day, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's how and I then I look at um my like HUD homes, yeah. right? The government, mm-hmm. the bank owns those. They're not bad houses. Yes, they're you know good what houses. I, mean? I bought a HUD home before. Yeah, yeah. yeah. like they range anywhere from like five thousand. I've seen some for like two hundred fifty thousand. Yeah. yeah, you know mm-hmm. what I mean. I think you have to stay in the HUD home though. Yeah, you do. You I, have to. I be. mean, I'm. They are. That's what I'm suggesting. Oh, I'm saying like I thought you were talking about. I'm saying I was feeding off the point she made. Like if she lived with someone, like that's different. If you move in somewhere and you're not paying rent, Mm -hmm. you're just paying on the house that y'all own. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's it's different. And I mean, even if it is your primary residence, just make sure it's in an area. Because I mean, even if it's in your primary residence, I mean, uh, it is your primary residence. And it's in an up and coming area. Mm-hmm. And right now the house is seventy thousand dollars. Okay, it's mm-hmm. your primary residence. You stay in it for five that's years. Perfect. That's the best way to do it. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. You stay there for five years. That house be worth three hundred thousand dollars in By five the time years. You ready to move, then yeah, you ready to move? You can move almost to wherever you want to. Mm-hmm. You know. So I mean, that's that's definitely um, you know the. Yeah, you Everybody's about. inspired. All right. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. unfortunately, that has been Download this app again. Look, um, <laughs> Look at again, these Again, we appreciate you all yeah, um, coming in. We appreciate y'all. Um, mm-hmm. Any last words, ladies? Um, no, Enjoy the vacation. Yeah. Enjoy the vacation. Right. Enjoy the vacation. Yeah. 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 Yeah.